On to the next thing. Oh, before we go, before we get on to the next thing, because my volume was crazy in the beginning and then clearly you did not hear. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, um, pass this, share it along to your friends. Um, comment down below what your thoughts are. If you've seen the movie, if you're into the boys, House of Dragons, whatever, let's get a conversation going. Um, and uh, make sure you check the description um, to check out any links. I put a lot of the tools and um, the tools and gadgets that I use to make this whole production. If you buy them off of Amazon, I do get a percentage of that purchase. Also, if you have a need for anything, actually, any old thing, holler at me in the comments and I can put a link and you can buy it off of there. That would greatly help my channel. I do all of this myself, all the editing, the recording, the setup, the lighting, all of the paying for all of the stuff. So it will be really nice to get something back in my pockets. I am trying to monetize this thing and make it bigger. So even if right now all you got to do is be able to share it with somebody, do that. You know, also I have a, a buy me a coffee link down in the bottom, that bottom in the description as well. So if buying things off of Amazon isn't your jam, you can also donate personally to me with the buy me a coffee link. All right. Now that we got commercial business out of the way. Um, Kendrick Duckworth. Kendrick Lamar Duckworth. As much as I've been excited about the beef. Excited meaning I thought it was great for hip hop. I wanted to see two of the biggest uh, rappers of my time go back and forth. Um, I was a really big Drake fan early on and the same thing with Kendrick, overly dedicated Section 80, all of that back in the day. Shit, that was the shit. Um, and I think I fell off with both of them at different times. I mean, it might have been around the same period of time, but like I didn't, once To Pimp a Butterfly came out and Kendrick got super activist. I was like, I don't know about this one. Drake, for me, it was around Scorpion. Actually, Views was not that great, but uh, I still found things that I liked about it, so it's cool. But then Scorpion, I think, followed shortly, and I was like, nah, this is, I'm, I think he's going in a direction that's not really cool with me. But there was a couple jams. Of course, you got Gal Chester, you got Mob Ties, you got Jaded. There's, there's joints on Scorpion, don't get me wrong. And it was too long. Pause. That was a, a long album where at a time where people were trying to do shorter ones. And no, it was like 22 tracks or something like that. So, um, but I wanted to see it. I didn't really care to see it. I had no desire to really like check out the pop out Kendrick thing. I was just like, all right, like, cool. I, I think this is a great thing to him for him to do. It really wasn't something on my radar like that. But Wednesday came. And I was just like, I seen, you know, one of my, one of the dudes I watched, Rob TV, shout out to Rob TV, make sure y'all go check out his content. Um, I went on his stream and he had it on and it was right around the Steve, uh, the Steve Lacey and Tyler, the creator section, um, right when that was ending. And YG, uh, Roddy, Rick, Rod Rich and, and, and YG had came on and whatnot. And I was just like, yeah, this is kind of like cool. The energy was crazy. Energy was crazy. Anyway, um, so, you know, of course, I was there to really see. Uh, <laughs> looking at the comments, got a comment to say that album was long as hell. <laughs> I don't really, it, it was long as hell, unnecessarily. It was almost on Chris Brown levels of length. Anyway, I, I wanted to see Kendrick. I wanted to see Kendrick. I wanted to see. This man, you know, I, want, I actually just wanted to know what he was going to do. And uh, boy, did he deliver in a way that I did not. Not that I didn't think he was capable of, but it was just like. I, I didn't expect him to open up with Euphoria. I, I, I was wondering whether we was going to be on beef time or we was going to be on like Kumbaya kind of time. Like, uh. Yeah, I just, I just, I just didn't think that that Euphoria was gonna be the pop out of show niggas actually, uh, but that was it was actually crazy for him to get up on the stage. First of all, he had the sample in the beginning, and he actually let the sample breathe. Like the sample came on, and it was real, it was real melodic, and it was given, and the crowd 
you could just feel the energy off of the crowd when that shit came on. Like, not the, yeah, the screaming and shit. It was just like a, I think it was a collective, like, oh my God. And he letting this shit play. Drake got danced on in two minutes. And I don't mean danced on literally, like, in, in the goddamn, like, people was dancing to the music. Because that, that, that sample is not something you dance to. But, I mean, niggas was already on that grave type dancing with that sample playing like that. And then, I didn't think we was going to get the whole six minutes. Let alone the whole six minutes. The whole crowd sang the shit word for word the whole six minutes. That shit was insane. Then you had to deal with the nigga bringing up all his old tr old songs, Swim Pools, Element, contextualizing them in context of the beef. That was fucking OC to me. Like, you listening to some of the, He's not changing the lyrics. But you listen to him now, like, oh, bro, he might have been talking about Drake the whole time. Like, um, and it was just a good flashback to go back to some of them joints because I think over time I've forgotten what a catalog Kendrick had. Like, we, 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 we say, Kendrick, he's, he's one of the greatest. He's dope. He's this, he's that. But I don't think we actually think about individual songs except for, like, we think about Good Kid, Mad City as a cohesive thing. To Pimp a Butterfly for most people is a album that they love. Some people, um, they like um, the last one. I forget the name of it right now, but like they like it, but they like, oh, it was heavy or it was dense. It was a lot of subject matter for them to like tackle. And I, you know, from what I understand, because I did not listen to it as a whole album, um, but I've I've seen people dissect it and talk about what the, the themes of it was. It was his healing journey, essentially. Him owning um, a lot of his shit and sort of the identity crisis he was having as quote unquote being a black savior, but like also not living up to that behind closed doors. I know what that's like. So I don't even think I needed to take that journey with Kendrick, honestly. But anyway, uh yeah, so he he's contextualizing these songs. He brought up Black Hippie Crew. You know, we got Schoolboy Q, that's my dog. I want that yay yay. That was my shit. Collard they collard greens. I thought I for a second I thought Kanye was gonna come out when they did that part. Um I I wanted a little bit more of him with Absol because they just did six sixteen in L A with uh, Absol survival in the beginning and the first verse. I actually wanted because because mm, I can't stand this nigga and he was streaming it because that's what he does. He's terminating online and terminating. I, I, he's mentally ill. I'm sure. Big act academics. I wanted him to do the 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 at least the. First bar or whatever, or the second verse where he's like, I could see the, I could see the, the vibes on act. I wanted him to do it because I wanted that 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 sad face to come on him and look sad and embarrassed right on. He was he was having such a hard time enjoying the show. He was talking cash shit, but also enjoying it. Like you see him smiling and dancing sometimes. Then he catch himself on camera. Yeah, stick with your alliance, bro. I understand it's politics, man. That's sad though. What's worse, what's worse about all of this is like some people felt like some people showing up to the show or celebrating or singing the songs meant that they were on Kendrick's side. Other people like couldn't admit that Kendrick won or has been doing a hell of a job um, holding this down and stomping on Drake's name and titles and all that shit. Um, it's just crazy. Like, bro, you can like music and just be a fan and like not have to suck dick like that. Like, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Crazy. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, so it ended up, man, it was just a phenomenal show. I think that he didn't even do too much. Like, I mean, physics, like presence wise, he has a presence, but like he wasn't giving us no crazy antics or nothing like that on stage. It was just him. He had no backing track or nothing. He was doing all of this. That, that, that is crazy. There was a couple times in Euphoria where he messed up the lyrics, but I think it's because he um wanted to, he changed some of the lyrics. So he changed the, if you give me that ring back, I'll give you a little respect. He added in, uh, we could be on a two hour time difference instead of a three hour time difference because Drake just moved to Houston. I thought that was crazy. Not a lot of people are talking about that. <laughs> Not enough people are talking about that. The fact that he said, I'm, I'm watching, like he's still watching. He's the boogie. He's really the boogie man. I don't like feeling like I'm sucking Kendra's dick like this, but that is crazy. He's really watching from the shadows, my nigga. Don't say nothing. And just, this is what you get. Um, 
I just and and like a lot of a lot of shit that that Drake did. I've said this to friends, not 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 online, but like there's a lot of mistakes he made, a lot of stuff that just didn't age well. Um, a lot of people are talking about the, the him, you know, who really banger set my nigga YG, and that nigga was YG was up there with his very famous dress shoes on and uh church socks getting it in, nigga, blood walking all over. Goddamn, not like us. Um, that shit was insane, bro. But to run not like us back five times, I was sitting there like, bro, it's time to hang it up, bro. Like, like I'm is I'm done. I, I we are done. We don't need to hear the song. Like we got the point, brother. Like I don't think he's coming back. I'm not saying that Drake's career is over. That's not what I'm saying. But like, if, if we're Talking about who won the beef. There's no resurrection. I, I, he might come back with his little sub shots and shit. That's what he do. He know it gets the people moving and shit. But I, nobody's taking that seriously, man. Nobody is. Nobody. Mm-mm. He really gonna walk around like Debo. Nigga gonna tuck his chain every time. No. And, and nobody's gonna believe you. Talking all that shit. Yeah, I be talking shit. Nah, son. You're a punk now. You you got you you it was done. I think that the best move that Drake could have made was just be like, oh, um, on the fact that he took the L versus like trying to be cool and shit, because that's what he been trying to do, is look real cool and unbothered. But I also feel like he don't he it's in some way he don't care enough or didn't care enough or didn't take it seriously enough, which is why it ended up being the way that it did. Um, cause you don't you don't you don't play with that. Whether you think you're the best or not, you don't. You don't play with a J. Cole. You don't play with a Kendrick. You you don't do that. Um, yeah, I thought that uh I think I have the same highlights that everybody else would have, the A minor shit and just holding that shit for an extremely long amount of time, several times, is O C is uh Petty. Um, supposedly he was doing the like hotline bling dance or whatever. I don't really be putting shit like that together. I just thought it was coincidental more than like, oh, he's doing that too. Cause I think a lot of you niggas put like y'all are y'all talk about like uh people being conspiracy theory nuts, but when it comes to like rap gen like genius <laughs> genius what the lyrics mean or like deciphering what an artist is doing, y'all niggas are conspiracy theorists for real. I'm not saying he did or didn't. What I'm saying is. I think that that's a reach. I think that it's just, he just was dancing, son. Um, I don't think son was like, let me go back to Hotline Bling and see what this nigga was doing in the video. You hear how ridiculous that fucking sounds? That is insane. Anyway, um, I do think the the dressing like Pac thing was more legit of a of a conspiracy theory. Like, I think that might be factual because Kendrick is one of them niggas. Like, he got a dick, a, a grill with Dick Gregory face in it. I don't know why you would do that. Put another nigga in your mouth. But okay. Okay. He's he's one of those types of guys that would do that for the greats. You know, he heard, you gonna let him disrespect our legends and all that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not mocking you, Kendrick. Please don't make a diss track about me, bro. I live a quiet life too. I don't want the smoke. I'm just saying you do that type of stuff. All right, I respect you a whole lot, and I'm scared for my life. Honestly, I don't need you digging in my closet. I don't. Um, I think that uh, um, the actually the second time he ran it back, I think when he did not, I think it would have been so dope if he just said nothing the whole time. He said he said a couple bars, but like the fact that the crowd was rapping that shit, like for real, for real. Like I've been to concerts and stuff where people are rapping and singing along to the songs that's normal right like that's I, I went to renaissance and i sing every goddamn song every time she you know what i'm saying everybody is just singing loud as fuck except for when it's time to goddamn be quiet you, you niggas still can't be quiet but that's not the point it that's normal but it was something about that song and the way the crowd was rapping I just, I, I didn't feel secondhand embarrassment for him in that moment, but I felt bad for him. You know what I'm saying? Like, there was something. <laughs> I got another comment. No, but the end of that concert needs to be mocked. The unity is, is the unity. I, I, I got you on that. I got you on that. I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. 
that whole shit like was just crazy, right? And so then, then we got um the we are the world moment. Now, I don't want no smoke. I don't want no smoke. I think that it is very important that the Bloods and Crips and the Pyrus, even though they be banging, the, having the same flag or whatever, like it's different, you know, factions and they don't like each other and this and that. I I I know what Kendrick did to and for hip hop and for gang culture, hood culture on that stage. Like I understand it. And bear with me for a second. Follow me, follow me, breathe. It felt a little corny. Sort of like I was just saying with putting Dick Gregory in your mouth. Like it felt this fake, like it kind of felt like, you know, when Drake was like, you a fake activist. It felt a little bit like that. Even though, even though the moment was real. I don't know how to explain it. But that's how I feel about it. Okay. I hope we all can just, just, and I'm not, I, I, I liked the end of it. I like, I liked the end of it when everybody was on stage dancing and shit. You know what I'm saying? Felt very like cookout, you know, black, black, you know, black people. It felt very that, you know what I mean? But the the moment of the picture and the this and the that, I, I understood the moment. I, I even had an appreciation for it, but I couldn't help feeling like this is shit that nigga Drake was talking about right here. That moment right there. That's how I felt about that. Um, But yeah, I think and I, by the time, though, when they played the instrumental, I was like, please, not again. I can't take another second of this damn song and it's weird i'm tired of hearing it i think after the concert i'm tired of hearing it but i still love it and i can't resist the urge to wop 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 that fuck them up you know what i mean i can't it it's something in me that between that and euphoria i think it is the um this is something that kendrick is very good at it's the noises the inflections the stuff because i was thinking about this he played like that too he did his verse for like that and I was like, what is it that makes that like that? But he was talking cash shit on like that. Cash shit. But he, it was when he said, motherfuck the big three, nigga, it's just big me. If you listen to it, and I, I, I could be tripping, but I don't think I am. If you listen to it, it's the way he say that shit. He don't say, motherfuck the big three, nigga, it's just big me. He say, the big, like, like, nigga, get the fuck out of here, nigga. Like, like, that's disrespectful. That is disrespectful. Or like in Euphoria, when he's, what is it, the braids? All that, like, all that inflection, the character that you get in the songs is what makes you not be able to let them motherfuckers go. Like, um, because I, I know plenty of people that was like, they just walking around, what is it, braids? Or saying little shit off of off of euphoria um or 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 not like us etc like my goddaughter has been her, for yesterday her mother sent me two videos of her wrapping it down today she sent me two videos of her back i'm talking about my my goddaughter this time sent me videos of her singing and i created a monster with that one i swear um but it's just it's just good fun and like niggas are, like this nigga mall from uh Rory and mall bro he said something like um, this DV set fire though, talking about the fact that Dre, Dr. Dre, and potentially Kendrick Lamar have domestic violence um, charges or whatever. And I think that, I th you know, Dre got a weird case. Why is he around? I think that that's a very valid point um, to talk about like the hip, to, to bring the hypocrisy. But bro, the thing about it is it cannot come from you. You look like a, you already are a Drake lover, okay? Like, you cannot accept defeat here, so niggas are not going to receive that very valid criticism from you. I hate to say it, but they're not going to hear it. It's not going to come from you. But you also was just hating, son, because I can guarantee you nobody except you was thinking about that shit. The fact that, and, and when we talk about the scope of things, I, I don't, 
like I'm not making light of DV at all, but I just want to be clear. The scope of things that you want to be <laughs> accused of, I promise you, I promise you, being a PDF file is not one. I would very much take somebody accusing me of slapping a bitch than 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 doing the the former. I'm sorry, bro. That's just not. It's not gonna go down like that. Um, and you gotta fight me after you say it. Like we we gotta scrap to the death, nigga. Cause no, um. Your boy just didn't do, he didn't do what he needed to do. And why, why, like, if you was going to be mad the whole time, why would you watch, why would you watch the show? Just let it go. You knew what was going to happen. You knew he wasn't, you knew he wasn't going to back down or he was going to at least play that song. That, if, if nothing else, you knew he was going to play that one song because that was what was hot right now. That's silly. You're hurting your own feelings. And Drake is not there to console you or hug you. I will, though, if you want to hug. Um, there's also this, um, like, they calling it the pedophile, a, ped a pedophile song? I guess I shouldn't say that, but, you know, whatever. If, if YouTube doesn't want to monetize me, I mean, I'm broke already. I don't, it can't get any worse, can it? Um, the pe They calling it the oh, kids dancing. I think that actually the perfect, it's, one, it's not that. That's not what it is. That's, it's about a PDF file. Um, and it's actually about dissing him. I can see if it was about, about loving him. Like, y'all niggas not... Y'all are not making the sense you think you are, actually. I think it's great that kids are dancing to, uh, no, homie, you're nasty, you're a freaky-ass nigga. Like, that's crazy. I think that's, I think that's a great thing. Because guess who, is, who are the victims of, of the PDF files? The kids. So if there's an opportunity where even subconsciously they're able to, like, quote-unquote, get their power back or whatever the fuck y'all be saying, like, that, 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 that type of shit, makes sense to me. To me, it makes sense. It makes sense. I did have to have a conversation about with my my goddaughter about, hey, do you know what this means? Do you know what this is? Do you know why he's calling him this? She said no. I did the best I could to explain it to her. She got even deeper into the song. So that's not my I think she understood what justice looks like, in my opinion. The kids, you know, doing their little sea walk to I I'm with it. I'm with it. Cause it's about dissing you. And I mean, for real, for real, and this is why I I said this early on in the beef, like keeping it keeping it all the way a hundred. Um, I guess to to like be more serious about it is that I think that the the issue that I have with Kendrick and all of this is that now that the beef is over, it seems as if we will never know. You keep talking about this this uh shit goes deeper. The the closet goes deeper, or the the rabbit hole goes deeper. I could take it further. I could take it further. It seems as if you're only willing to take it further if he say something, right? So that means either you don't have, I got to question your character here, because either you don't have or don't believe what it is you say is the situation, because if you did, hello, authorities, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, put it out there, what's happening for real, for real, if, you, if that's what it is. But because he chilling, he, 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 he conceded. Um, very casually, like, cause some of y'all are still confused about what he was talking about in the hard part six, but he definitely was like, yeah, bro, uh, if you respond with the truth, then I'll speak on it. Like, come on, son. Um, but I just, I, I just, the, the morality or the character of that, that, that I got an issue with that. You, you, you only wanted to expose him if it benefits you in some way of making you the king of rap. That, that's what that comes off like. I'm, I'm not being hate, a hater. That's, that's real shit. Like if if you really care about these kids or keeping the keep the family away and keep the daughters away and all that stuff, ex put that shit on front street right now, bro. Like let's stop playing games. This shit was fun. Don't get me wrong, but if you really got some information, then do that. Don't don't tuck them uh ten other songs you got in the cut that might got more scathing or actual evidence or whatever. Don't do that. Keep that unless you unless you were just talking shit based on what's out already, then. Yeah, because other than that, you're just going to be reiterating the same thing. Fine. But if you got actual evidence, you look crazy to me, a thinking person, um, for not for not actually putting that out there or, or giving information to the proper authorities or chain to do something about it. I also don't know that many people in you know, the industry are going to do anything because I think they're all freaky ass niggas. But that is just my that's just my thoughts. Um. 
I'm interested to see what else you do. I heard that they, or saw clips, heard that they were shooting a Not Like Us video, so I will be watching that. I um, may do a reaction to it. Oh, I thought it was dope that they brought out Storm DeBarge. She's like a, I can't even say she's up and coming, but I've watched her progress. Um, she was doing that. She was one of the dancers up on stage doing Not Like Us, but I've watched her really blow up um, on Instagram over the last however many years, like really getting to be... Um, choreographing stuff at, at a large stage like the um the Super Bowl and stuff like that. It, it it was cool to see people who you who you who you thought or you feel like deserve some comeuppance actually get presented in a way, even though it was all West Coast people, so there was no people from other places, which I thought was cool. I think another point is um I miss regional rap kinda. Like we still got regions. We still got like, oh, this is DC, this is New York, this is West Coast, da 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 da. But like the internet kind of makes it all homogenous and you don't really know the culture like that. You can't really get into it. Like, I seen some nigga, some Gen Z loser, I'm gonna call him. Um, he ain't do nothing wrong, but he disrespected Tommy the Clown. And as a dancer, like, or like, if you were alive when the rise came out, you know that it's crazy to be talking like talking crazy about Tommy the Clown. Like, that just don't make sense. He's the reason why niggas crump. Like they built, they started clowning and then they changed the style. Some of them changed the style up and then called it crumping. But the basis for crumping is clowning. And Tommy the Clown started that whole thing and does so much for um, the community, as I understand it. I'm not in LA, but he's a legend as far as that movie coming out and taking kids off the street and stopping, giving them an opportunity to dance instead of gangbang because it's really easy for them to get in that. Like, if you've seen a fucking documentary, you can't, you would not be talking crazy like this about Tommy the Clown. I get it. It's not your culture. You see a clown, you laugh at it, whatever. But it, like, that's one of them things that like, we used to be able to be a little more, you would think with the internet, you can like, be more like, you can find out more information, but you losers are not doing any real research. <laughs> anymore on these artists or what the what the why this sounds this way why this looks this way um you know every region got has something every 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 area has something like dc we got go go or uh, in our own style of drill music that i don't care for or understand but the kids love it new york got their own sounds and and it's, it's different sounds and it's dances and stuff that get a comp a company with stuff and we just you know, once it hits TikTok, it's it's done. It's a wrap. I was talking to somebody who's not from here and was like, Glizzies. Like they say Glizzies for hot dogs now. That's a that's a worldwide thing. That that was a DC thing for forever. First we called them hammers, then we went to calling them glizzies. And now that's like a a a, a United States wide thing or pop culture thing to say glizzy for a hot dog and make fun of it. So um it's it's stuff like that that gets lost, or like how New Balance named us. Because New Balance is a part of the... They came... I remember growing up, nobody fucked with New Balance. But DC area always did. That's just always... They named us like the... who They had some competition or some conversation about who who would say has been always faithful to New Balance or putting them on. And they named DC. But this is... And this is not... It's not... It's all culture. You learning about different areas and what what it ha what is happening in those areas to influence the musicians and vice versa. So... I think that's something that's really been missed these days or these kids don't care about it, which is crazy because you say you hip hop fans and hip hop originated a rap, which is different than hip hop if you understand um, the origins. But hip hop started in New York and the way that it started with different groups and MCs battling and this and that. And so uh, I think that it's a lot of history that gets lost. A lot of times cause it's, it can be boring to look into, but like, I don't know. Let's make Rise Part 2. I'm down. I'll, I'll, I'll be in it. Crump, clowns, break it on down. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready. Talk, Tommy, call me. Kendrick, call me, bro. For real. But that's all I got for y'all tonight. Um, y'all can catch me again, you know, pretty soon. I, I don't know what day. I'm I'm trying to still get my 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 schedule together as far as streaming with both channels to say station. But make sure y'all check out the say station. I got some uploads coming up there soon. So if you're in the game and the tech, look for me there. And uh, per usual for hot topics, decoding movie stuff, 
all of the things that I like to run my mouth about, look for me here. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Thank you for commenting. If you comment, comment again. Send it to your friend. Again, hit the links down in the description if you need a little something, something. Holla at me, dog. Or or buy me a coffee. It's there. Avatar Shay. Uh, it, it might say Avatar Shay TV or Avatar Shay. If if one of those don't work, take off the TV or add the TV. Send me a little some 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 for my efforts. All right, y'all. Good night. Peace.